it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today we have a fun video. Now, a couple of trips ago for my hauls, I found these adorable little signs at the Dollar Tree. Now, I'm not sure if this is real glass or if this is plexiglass in the center, but I really liked that these were square. I liked that there was no backing, and I was like, well, let's figure out if we can take this lettering off and change it out for something more fun. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Now the files I'm using for these bathroom signs is available on my Patreon page for my $4 or more a month patrons. And if you want to use them as commercial use, you do need to have the $10 a month. So if you'll give me a moment, we'll change the camera angle and we'll go over how to take the lettering off and add new lettering. Doki. So you can see I have my sign laid here. This is the sign that will hang out towards like people and this is the side that will face the wall. So I have my scraper here. Now I did try on the other ones because I have removed the lettering off of the other three. A couple of different methods using like denatured alcohol and fingernail polish remover, which neither one of those really wanted to work, but I have a scraper. So this is a razor blade in here. So be very, very careful. And I figured that just scraping them off worked the best. So all that we do, turn it over, do it the right way, is scrape these letters off. You see how I'm just grabbing like the edge. Now you do want to be careful when you're doing this because this is again a razor blade. And if you're not careful, you will cut yourself because it is a razor blade with nothing like blocking it. So I'm just kind of going in small motions and just working my way through the entire letter. But you can kind of see how easy this is going. See what I mean? And the more you do this, the easier it gets. I wish I would have bought more of these because I love the shape of this sign. And if you don't have these at your local Dollar Tree, you can just use like a square picture frame and make these. But, you know... If I went to Hobby Lobby to buy a blank square picture frame, I'd probably spend at least $5 a piece on them. And this way, they were a dollar. Now, I haven't checked to see if they are available like on Dollar Tree's website because I know some stuff you can find on Dollar Tree's website, which makes it a whole lot easier. So as you can see, just kind of scraping all the way through. Very, very easy. Once you get the hang of it. And the reason why I'm showing you this, because I know a lot of times you'll see people use chemicals to remove it, but sometimes you don't have access to it or you just don't like to use a lot of chemicals, which is completely understandable, you know? For me, it's some stuff like paint thinner. Just the smell alone gives me a headache. So it's like, I don't want to use it unless I absolutely have to. And, you know, a lot of times a razor blade's cheaper than a lot of chemicals. You know what I mean? And I mean, even doing all four of them, it didn't take much time. So as you can see, now that is completely cleaned off. I'm gonna take, this is just a paper towel, has a little bit of alcohol on it because I was using that to clean the other side of the signs, but that's all that it is. So kind of get all the crumblies out of the way and take some denatured alcohol to clean the glass because this is a step I always do whenever you're doing any type of glass sign or anything like that, make sure that you get all of your fingerprints and stuff off there. There we go. Oh, we got one little piece. 
on there. So I have already taken and weeded our one of our designs. Now there are four designs available on Patreon and I've already masked it because, you know, I have a ton of videos showing how to bring files into Cricut. Oh, and I also have tons of videos showing you how to mask and weed. This is more about actually removing the letters. So as you can see, the design is mirrored. And the reason for that is because since we're sticking it on the back side of the frame, we want the lettering to show through the right way. So I'm just taking a squeegee, squeegeeing it down, and then now you see what I mean. That's done. We'll go ahead and remove the transfer tape. I'll stick the other three of them off camera and I will show you all four of them completed. But doesn't that look cute? And then you don't have to worry about your vinyl getting messed up that easy. So give me a minute. I'll finish the rest of these off camera and show you the completed project. Let me show you the completed signs because I think these are so cute. So we've got wash your hands, you filthy animal. Isn't that adorable? We've got potty like a rock star. So cute. I know I'd like with this backing, it's hard to see, but I will have a picture up on uh, Instagram too, so you can see them a little bit better. But isn't that adorable? Then we've got, you don't know what you've got until it's gone. Like, let me see, do I have something? There you go. See, now you can see it a little bit better. It's the lighting too, since they're glass, but look how cute that is. You don't know what you got until it's gone. And last but not least is Hello Sweet Cheeks. Isn't that the cutest? I love these. So hopefully you do too. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. And if you hit the notification bell icon next to it, that will notify you when I post new videos, which is typically Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesdays are lives, and then some bonus content thrown in every once in a while. But I guess that's it, so we shall see y'all later. Bye.